I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI. I tried for years. Uh, now, what happens when something uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form? Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. Artificial intelligence is evolving at a pace no one could have predicted. Some experts claim we're on the verge of machines surpassing human intelligence, while others argue we're still decades away. So what's the truth? How close are we to a future where AI thinks, learns, and surpasses us in every way? To answer that, we first need to understand the three stages of AI. What we have now, what's coming next, and what might be waiting in the future. Why everyone is talking about superintelligence. It's no secret that AI is advancing at breakneck speed. ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, and other AI models have already revolutionized how we work, write, and even create. But these are just examples of narrow AI. Good at one task, but completely useless outside of it. However, some of the biggest names in tech believe AI is on the verge of something bigger. Masayoshi Son, chairman of SoftBank, recently claimed that artificial superintelligence, ASI, will surpass human intelligence by 10,000 times by 2035. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has also stated that AGI, artificial general intelligence, is within reach. And once we get there, the leap to ASI could happen much faster than expected. But not everyone is convinced. Brent Smolinski, AI leader at Kearney, argues that true AI superintelligence may never happen. Gary Marcus, professor of neural science at NYU, has said the hype around AGI is unfounded and based on unrealistic expectations. So, is this just another overblown tech prediction? Or are we genuinely on the verge of something groundbreaking? To answer that, we need to break down the three types of AI and where we stand today. Artificial Narrow Intelligence, ANI. Everything we call AI today falls under Artificial Narrow Intelligence, ANI. These systems are designed for one specific purpose and cannot adapt beyond their program tasks. No matter how advanced ChatGPT, Tesla's autopilot, or DeepMind's AlphaFold may seem, they are all just glorified pattern recognizers. Powerful, yes, but fundamentally limited. For example, ChatGPT and Gemini can generate text, but they can't drive a car or operate machinery. Tesla's full self-driving, FSD, can navigate roads, but it can't write code or diagnose diseases. AlphaFold revolutionized biology by predicting protein structures, but it can't hold a conversation or perform tasks outside its training scope. These AI models excel at their specific functions, but they lack the versatility, intuition, and adaptability that define human intelligence. These systems don't actually understand what they're doing. They follow patterns, predict the next best action, and generate outputs based on the massive data sets they've been trained on. AI doesn't think in the way humans do. It simply detects correlations and reproduces responses that fit those patterns. The key limitation? AI cannot think, reason, or generalize the way humans do. It does not learn beyond its pre-programmed abilities. This is why we don't have real AI assistants that can make independent decisions or think for themselves. At least, not yet. But if AI is just an advanced calculator, what would it take for AI to actually think like a human? That brings us to the next frontier, Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. The leap to Artificial General Intelligence. Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, is the holy grail of AI development. It refers to AI that can reason, learn, and understand the world just like a human, but with all the advantages of machines. Unlike today's AI, which is limited to specific tasks, AGI would be capable of adapting to any problem, making decisions based on reasoning rather than just pattern recognition. Some experts claim AGI is closer than we think. In April 2024, Elon Musk predicted that AGI will arrive within two years. Dario Amade, CEO of Anthropic, echoed this view in an October 2024 essay stating that AGI could be here by 2026. Sam Altman and OpenAI are also heavily investing in AGI research, believing that once it is achieved, it will soon outperform humans in most economically valuable tasks. But here's the problem. We don't even have a clear definition of AGI. What exactly qualifies as artificial general intelligence? Does AGI mean an AI that passes every human IQ test? Does it need self-awareness? Or is it simply an AI that can adapt to multiple tasks without retraining? Different experts have different answers, making it difficult to determine how close we actually are. 
Mustafa Suleiman, CEO of Microsoft AI, has warned that predicting AGI's arrival is impossible because the concept itself is still undefined. Meanwhile, Gary Marcus argues that most AI researchers are just chasing funding and that true AGI is nowhere near reality. Without a clear benchmark for AGI, it's hard to say if recent AI breakthroughs are pushing us toward it or if it remains a distant dream. But let's assume AGI does happen. What comes next? Some believe AGI could improve itself at an exponential rate, leading to something far more powerful. Artificial Superintelligence, ASI. Artificial Superintelligence. AGI sounds like science fiction, but Artificial Superintelligence, ASI, takes it even further. ASI refers to AI that surpasses human intelligence in every way. Creativity, problem solving, and decision making. Unlike AGI, which would think at a human level, ASI would operate on an entirely different scale, solving problems and making connections beyond human comprehension. Nick Bostrom, author of Superintelligence, describes ASI as an intelligence so advanced that it would be as far beyond us as we are beyond chimpanzees. But how would we even get there? The most likely path is that AI could start building itself. Sam Altman has suggested that AI systems will eventually become so advanced that they help us build the next generation of AI. Leopold Aschenbrenner, an AI researcher, believes AGI could create ASI within a year through recursive self-improvement. This means that once AI reaches human-level intelligence, it could quickly begin improving itself, designing smarter versions of itself at a pace far faster than human engineers ever could. This idea isn't new. I.J. Good's famous prediction in 1965 stated that once we create a machine smarter than humans, it would keep improving itself without our help. He called this the intelligence explosion, where AI advances at such an uncontrollable rate that humans would struggle to keep up. If AI is constantly redesigning and optimizing itself, its intelligence could increase exponentially, leaving human oversight completely irrelevant. But here's the issue. If ASI becomes a reality, humans might not even understand it. Think about it. If a super-intelligent AI solves a complex physics problem, how would we verify if it's correct? It would be like trying to explain calculus to a goldfish. That brings up an even bigger question. If AI surpasses human intelligence, will it still align with human goals? Or will it become something we can't control? Will AI take over? Artificial superintelligence, ASI, isn't just about advancing technology. It's about reshaping the world. Some believe it could solve problems once thought impossible, while others warn it could lead to a future where humans lose control. The real question isn't whether we can build ASI, but whether we should. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, claims ASI could cure diseases, eliminate poverty, and accelerate scientific progress. Experts predict breakthroughs across industries, transforming life as we know it. ASI could revolutionize medicine by analyzing genetic data to develop personalized treatments. It could also drive climate change solutions, optimizing energy use, and engineering sustainable materials. A super-intelligent system could coordinate global efforts to combat environmental crises. Perhaps the boldest claim is that ASI could create a world of abundance. By automating labor-intensive work, it could lead to unlimited production of goods and services, reshaping economies and reducing inequality. Some believe ASI could also enhance human intelligence. Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain-computer interface company, is already developing technology to link the human brain with AI, allowing humans to keep pace rather than be left behind. But not everyone is convinced ASI will remain under human control. The biggest concern? Misalignment. ASI doesn't need to be malicious to be dangerous. It simply needs objectives that don't align with human survival. This is the AI alignment problem. The fear that ASI may pursue goals that conflict with humanity's best interests. If AI optimizes for efficiency without ethical constraints, it could make unpredictable or catastrophic decisions. Dan Hendricks, director of the Center for AI Safety, warns that ASI could outcompete humans in decision-making, leaving us powerless. Even if ASI intends to help, we might not understand how it thinks. Nick Bostrom, author of Superintelligence, describes this as the intelligence gap. Imagine explaining quantum physics to an ant. Now imagine ASI trying to explain its reasoning to us. If we can't comprehend its logic, how do we control it? This is where the AI safety debate becomes urgent. If we can't ensure ASI will act in humanity's best interest, should we even continue developing it? 
As AI progresses, this question becomes impossible to ignore. How close are we to superintelligence? Right now, we are still in the era of artificial narrow intelligence, ANI. AI that excels at specific tasks but lacks real understanding. While AI can generate text, drive cars, and even assist in medical research, it still operates within strict boundaries and cannot think, reason, or adapt like a human. However, the future of AI is hotly debated, with two possible paths lying ahead. In the fast-track scenario, AGI could emerge within a few years, leading to rapid AI self-improvement. Once AI reaches human-level intelligence, it may quickly surpass us, giving rise to artificial superintelligence, ASI. This shift could reshape civilization in ways we can't predict, with ASI solving humanity's greatest problems or becoming uncontrollable. Whether this future turns out to be utopian or catastrophic depends entirely on whether ASI's objectives align with human values. If misalignment occurs, AI could act in ways that are detrimental or even existentially threatening to humanity. In the slow track scenario, AGI remains a distant goal, possibly taking decades to achieve. AI will continue to improve incrementally, but never reach true human-like intelligence. In this timeline, governments and regulatory bodies may step in with stronger policies and restrictions, slowing AI development and ensuring safety measures are in place before superintelligence becomes a reality. This approach focuses on careful progress, ethical considerations, and long-term human control over AI's trajectory. We now stand at a critical moment in AI history. The race to AGI is accelerating, and whether we reach superintelligence in five years or 50, one thing is certain. Once ASI arrives, there's no turning back. The real question isn't just about when AI will surpass human intelligence. It's whether we should let it happen at all. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.